good luck. I saw the bishop highlighted for a second. I admit, I am curious. Well, now I know. <laughs> Now I know what the meaning of the bishop highlight is. Okay. This is interesting. Uh, I messed up. That's quite the mess up on my part. <laughs> okay, well. We've got a game on our hands today. Shit. I didn't expect this. Uh... But yeah, um, note to self, next time defend against this before this happens. Yeah, this is a bit, I should have seen this coming. Although it was unexpected for me, I should have anticipated this. Huh, um, how do we play this? Okay, their bishop is in the corner. I can try to enjoy that, but yeah, this was a bit, um, I don't know. This is terrible for me on account of I forgot that pieces promote when they reach the other end of the board. Um, and typically I've you brought up my silver to defend against such things, but today I didn't do that. Um, and so we are getting a teaching game. Where it's possible I might learn a lot from this. <laughs> I am still going to fight it out as much as I can, but this is going to hurt a lot. Um... So, I have options here. I have a pawn in hand. We should cherish that while we still have it. Um, I need to keep this pawn in hand because I need to generate an attack. And that attack needs to win. It's not a great position to start the game in. Um, Okay, let's make some effort to attack across this diagonal and on the fourth file sometime before the game ends. Um, oh, it is interesting. My plan was to pawn drop in front of the rook to deal with any pressure that I could encounter. Um, that's not happening, is it? So I'm losing a silver here. Yeah, because this is check, and if I take it, uh, it gets taken back with check. Um, so this is just straight up losing a silver. 
Okay. Let's run away ever so bravely and continue hoping in my attack. Um, so this attack strengthens with every piece I trade, so I should endeavor not to trade all the pieces. <sighs> um, I do anticipate him dropping, well he shouldn't, but he could drop uh, the silver at the head of my gold. Um, that's it. Not even bad to do that. It's just confusing. I didn't want to offer a rook trade because then I'm getting mated almost certainly. Like, if his rook promotes um, and I'm continuing to lose pieces, then that's not going to go well. There is a bright side of this in that even though I'm down a silver and my king is exposed and I'm probably going to lose more material, um, I do have a slight initiative at the moment. So there at least is some positivity here. But yeah, the longer term picture is not too great here, unless I can find a very strong attack very soon. Oh, clever. Okay, well, um, the silver attacks my rook. I could move my rook away from this attack. Um, if I take the silver, he takes my gold and I'm losing. Uh, if I just run away, this is most painful, but I might not be dead yet. So we're going to play the move that lets me play another move. Even though this pretty much puts my attack at a complete standstill. Um, like the only way I can continue attacking now is with my knight, because my rook's been cut off by the silver. Um, well, I guess that's not true. I could do bishop takes lance and then try to make something of that. But yeah, it's not looking bright. I did briefly consider pawn drop in front of the rook, and then I'm losing a rook and the rook drops on my back rank, and like everything is lost there. My attack is in no way um, worth a rook. And this way his silver is a bit awkward. I still have threats. If he does something crazy, maybe I cage the horse, but... Um, I don't know. Actually, yeah, this horse is temporarily surrounded. So if I pawn drop here, knight takes, knight takes, either silver or uh, rook takes. Well, no, silver takes, because I'm 
My bishop attacks the square. Ah, <sighs> so that's one possibility. Another much crazier possibility is knight takes uh, five three. If I take five three, I'm uh, without promotion. I'm forking two golds. Um, it's possible. Um, the problem is he gets to counter attack straight down the center file, which I don't really relish the idea of, but it's possible. Um, if knight takes the center pawn promoting, he just hits that with his silver or something like that. Um, I don't have anything supporting that attack. A knight does not checkmate me. So, I'm dreaming. I have to dream real hard here to find a way out of this, but... Um, yeah, if I can draw the king out toward the center, maybe there's something. Or if he dawdles a little bit, maybe I can build a slight initiative. So he's got a knight... I've got a gold. Um, so his horse is trapped. <sighs> this is crazy. Wait, if I drop down here, the horse just takes it. That's not how golds attack or defend. My plan was to use the gold to hit this silver, but then he... Well, he could place the no. Placing the knight to defend the silver would give up a knight. Um, and not even in a way that helps him attack. This position's just like super irregular. Okay, so we are transitioning to something that's maybe kind of like Yagura, hopefully. I can't say I've played Yagura before, but there is a first time for everything. Um, I missed that he could do a knight drop hitting my rook. That's Well, then the rook moves away and hits the horse, and the knight's in the way of him <laughs> uh, promoting his rook. This is just so awkward. Like, for sure a calmer move would have been for me to just place a pawn here and beg for mercy. But we're gonna fight. I want to win. I don't want to grovel for dozens of moves. So, we're going big or going home. Those are the options. And really now it looks a lot like we're going home. <laughs> but no, if he does knight 5-5, five five, I just uh, push pawn 5-6. And the knight's dead. Um, so I'm kind of missing what he's up to. If he had a pawn, he'd be able to start an initiative. But I don't see him having a pawn here.
So yeah, I think earlier this game he could have defended against my knight fork. Um, and like, yes, his attack would slow down a bit. Um, but uh, this way I would not be like saving my king. Whereas here, I think because the silver is trapped, I actually have chances. It, it's starting to look good. I don't want to jinx it, but um, again, I'm not sure what he's going to do. He could knight drop to hit my rook. I could move the rook. He could promote the knight, completely encasing the horse in the corner. Um, that could happen. Or he could just take this lance. And all this insanity that we've been trying to calculate or read um, doesn't need to be read anymore. So if I pawn drop right there, what's going to happen? A lot of crazy stuff, no doubt. But... Um, The one thing I'm concerned about is knight takes there. Then I take here and knight moves here and hits this, and I've helped his attack. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to activate my bishop and try to save my king. There's a lot to read, and I know I'm blitzing, but I keep moving quickly because I still think this is not so great for me. Um, okay, so plan A was for me to separate the rook and the lance, um, which I think is still doable. Um, Hmm. Interesting. This lance, if it promotes, is extremely close to my king. Okay, we're going to sidestep the lance, and if it promotes, we can pawn drop on its head. Ah, I missed this. This is clever. Um, yeah, I don't have a strong counter to that. Hmm. I have a counter, I just don't think it's strong enough. Well, here we go. We're going to do it anyway. So we're in check. Now, I don't need to capture the knight. And if I do capture the knight, where's the rook going to go? Well, he takes my gold and then I'm like dead. Um, so we're going to run like hell. And just ignore everything that's going to happen over here. 
while I take this rook or I take the horse. I have a guess what happens next, but I'm not sure. My guess is that he takes this. take this rook here and try to find a counterattack, even though there's probably not one. Hmm, so this gives up the knight in order to clear my back rank. Interesting. So I could either run away, um, which loses, or I can take it and try to survive. We're going to make an attempt to survive this. Um, now I could either take that or run away again. Um, I think if I take, he gets a tempo. Like, this knight does not do much for me. I'd rather not place down my gold. Like, if... he's going to place this rook on one of these two back ranks. And I don't know that I can hold off very long against that. Do I need this knight for an attack? I have no idea. I don't think my chances to survive change regardless of which direction I go there. I think I'm equally safe in both directions, which is to say I think I'm in trouble.
I missed that. Well, lots of ideas here. I'm going to make some attempt to run away <laughs> and also consolidate my castle a bit. There's no need for a gold to protect against the front. He has no attack on the front of my castle. He's got an attack on the side of my castle, that's for sure, but on the front, not yet. What do we say to the god of death? Um, not yet. That's a Game of Thrones quote. So yeah, we'll just survive a little bit longer. See if we can make things a little bit challenging. Maybe get a counterattack eventually. I don't know. Right, so he wants me to take this, and I don't really want it. Like, I've already got pieces. What else can you offer? Yeah, I've been cautious about placing my rook down back here because there is a gold drop, or he can actually move his gold back. I don't know if moving the gold back gets him made it, but like. Actually, the gold drop would trap my rook. Um, so I think he's been holding off on placing his gold because he recognizes he's not castled yet. As for what he's going to do about castling, beats me. Right, so that's a fork. Um, I have an idea of what to do against this fork. So, I think I have that covered. So I'm going to protect my promoted silver. And note, this does cover the head of my king. In the event that he chooses to sack his gold, I can actually just take it. Um, I might not, but I could choose to. I think I want to, because, like, getting that rook would be nice. Although we'd have a bishop then, and I'm kind of scared of the bishop. So maybe taking that... Maybe if you put the gold here and I took it, that might be inadvisable, because I still haven't castled yet. Yeah, trading pieces when I'm in the middle of getting checkmated is not so smart. In chess, you would trade pieces off and it would slow the attack. Um, in shogi, you trade pieces and... Attacks speed up. <laughs> it takes a lot of mental adjustment to understand that. Um,
I know I want to use that piece to attack, but I need my other pieces to attack. So this one's got to be used in defense. I mean, maybe I could have brought my gold up instead of placing a silver here. Maybe that would have been okay. Okay, there's the promotion. I'm getting closer and closer to having a tempo to capture something. <laughs> Still not quite there. So he's already promoted everything, so... Um, there's only one thing I can really fear here, and I think I'm going to see it in a second. Um, correction, there's two things I can fear here. Um, Alright, he's placed his gold. Um, Okay, here comes our counterattack. Uh, that's not the right square. This is the dangerous way to play this position. Okay, so this probably sets up a mate threat. I'm not 100% certain of that, but I don't see him threatening me this instant.
Yeah, the silver in the center might save my butt. Well, no, I'm forgetting that if he sacks his dragon for my horse, uh, he doesn't have a dragon anymore. And if he doesn't sack for it, I have a threat. Like if he does, if he just passes, I have mate. Right, so he does sack for it. Um, I think my strongest move is to take the dragon. I don't think I have mate. Yeah, I definitely do not have checkmate. So now, instead of a rook, he has a bishop. He's also got a horse, but he's got a bishop. Do I intend to sacrifice my rook ever? I wonder. trying to decide if well if he checks me with the bishop back here i like either choose to run toward the center of the board or toward the corner but toward the corner allows him to continue dropping things and accelerate his attack well both ways allow him to continue accelerating his attack not a great variety of choice on my part oh this check um Crazily enough, this is the safest way I can run. So now I need to surround that king and checkmate it before something bad happens. But also, if I check him, what could he block with? He doesn't have a pawn. He could get a pawn right now. Um, I could sacrifice my promoted silver here. That might be my only play. That's not check. This is check. And he doesn't have a blocker. Oh, let me reword that. He can block. He doesn't have a good piece to block with. Yeah, this is not only check. This is checkmate. Oh my goodness, what an adventure. Okay, what's my most efficient checkmate? Uh, this is the first one I saw, and it's 
pretty efficient. Good game. Well played. All right, let's take a chance to review the game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was much too exciting for my taste. Uh, I think I will remember this game. <laughs> Hopefully this game will remind me that I need to defend against that attack. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Woo! Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. So... We'll allow him to choose what, what to review. Ah! Yeah. Yo Yomi was crazy. Um, yeah. I think your king is surrounded. Uh... Yeah. Thanks. Somehow I remain uh, far more patient than usual. <laughs> Far, far, far more patient on my part. Not to say that I played the opening right, because I certainly did not. But, um, yeah, toward the second half of that game, um, Close to silver, uh, what's it, two eight or something? Silver three eight. I don't remember. There's too much. Okay, three eight. Yeah, I see. Oh, that's right. And optional. Uh, King 2A at the end. I forgot. I'm getting all my openings mixed up, and I only know not very many openings. But yeah, Silver 3A is sensible. This is not sensible. I forgot about the promotion rule. Oops. <laughs> this is pretty bad. Yeah, this looks extremely uh, rough for Asenta. Oh, I tried playing Opposing Rook some games and just lost a whole bunch of games in a row. So, that's how come I'm back to 3Q. Shows me for trying something new. And even here, like, I'm playing fourth file rook, and I kind of know it, um, but obviously not. Uh, this was necessary. Senta may be doomed, but can fight anyway. Uh, so... <laughs> hmm... 
Yeah. We just attack, attack, attack. <laughs> Both players are attacking here. How fun. Uh, I realized a uh, rook trade would hurt me. This uh, tricky move was nice, but um, here I would suggest uh, any defensive move. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh. I know the feeling, but yeah, this this is not good. Shaiman has entered to <laughs> teach us. <laughs> oh boy, I pity Shaiman. Uh, oh dear, oh my! Oh, He's gonna look at this game and wonder. Oh, you're right. This is how Q players play. That's right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This was lucky. That silver really annoyed me. <laughs> so I had to remove it. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I forgot pawns are useful for starting an attack. Um, yeah, that makes sense. I think the lance drop was very unfortunate um, because I get to attack. Um, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, what a wild game. Yeah, I tried to castle. I'm kind of implying that um, you might need to slow down your attack and castle a little bit. <laughs> well, it seemed to be the only way to play. And so... Yeah, finding forced uh, moves was good. Uh, I don't know, like I had any choice here at all. Yeah. Like, up to, yeah, I actually took the knight. Hmm. 
I guess king takes 5, 8 was my first choice in a long time. Um, like, the rest of this was all just... I If I had played other moves before now, I think I made it. Um, yeah, I guess four pieces are needed in an attack. And I don't count four here. And also the pieces that are attacking are pretty heavy. Yeah, I wonder, I'm curious, like, what an engine would do to try to make this work. There might be some way. It's probably really tricky. But, yeah, this is what happens um, if... <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, there might be some way to save it. I don't know. Um... Well, at the end here, maybe an engine could find something, but I sure can't. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, like, here, my pieces are slightly loose. Uh, there might be something. Oh. Oh, but yeah, back here. Um, I think here is my largest threat of the game. Yeah. Like. Eh. I don't think I'll lance helps me that much, though. Like, I don't know. I'm not even sure how you defend this square. I just feel like it's necessary. Um, so, say I do take this. Um, what am I look what kind of stuff am I looking at here? I'm not sure. Um I don't know, like, whether which one of these targets is the greater target. Um, so yeah, the rook is attacked. Um... Let's see, what can we do about that? Not sure. It's 
so like here lots of pieces are getting traded um, so we aim for checkmate yeah, maybe you're right maybe the lance capture is too great a threat to do something about it or to just ignore um, and something has to be done maybe See, did I miss something else here? Um, so where did this start to go wrong, I wonder? So I was forced to do this. Yeah, I guess you're right. Um, my attack is a bit quick here. Wow. Didn't realize just how threatening or how menacing that could be. Yeah. So, so I'm also threatening this. Maybe this opening is more complicated than I thought. I don't know. See, and then back here. Um, let's see, can he survive this perhaps? sure here like this is actually pretty complicated um, at least for me um, hmm. Yeah, I guess this also gets mated. Wow. Okay. Oh, night drop here. Oh, that's clever. Uh, yeah. Yeah, night drop there is possible. drop here the king escapes here I think yeah so okay um, 
Yeah, that's a scary threat. That is a very scary threat. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Um, so maybe I missed something earlier, or maybe this just really is busted. Um, hmm. I guess uh, defense is harder than I... Oh! Oh, yeah, Shaiman's right. Yeah, we need a gold. Um, yeah, and then we just place the gold somewhere. I don't know. Something like this, I guess. Yeah, I think putting the king in the center didn't help. Maybe um, there is some way here to survive. I don't know. It's tricky. But, um... Oh, jeez. Ouch. <laughs> That's clever. I forgot about that. Um, well, shoot, what do we do now? So give up a gold to try to survive this, uh, a free gold. Yeah, well, it was Shyamon's idea to get a uh, gold. <laughs> um, it still looks extremely hard to survive this, but there might be a way. Yeah, this has got to be mate. There has to be a mate here. Not saying I would have found it, but probably I would have found it. In the meantime, we've got a golden hand and can maybe attack somehow. I don't know. Just get the king as far away from everything as possible. Oh, wait. Um, sorry, my mistake. We need to go here. Because otherwise there's like this gold drop check. And even though it's not mate, like, you can see the beginning of the end there. Um, yeah, I think this offers chances, whereas bringing the king into the center of the board might not. So we're threatening stuff like this. I 
think there are small chances here. I don't think bringing your king into the center of the board really afforded any chances. Uh, yeah. It's amazing what you can survive, uh, depending on how your opponent's attacking. Okay, so he gets a knight. Should I be afraid of a knight? Currently I'm not afraid of a knight. Um, so we're just going to attack anyway. Because I'm not sure what the knight does. It's the thing. It's like every attack takes a little time to pull off. Unfortunately, you can't like move all of your pieces at the same time. So you have to... Um, even a checkmate with the strongest possible force has to be conducted one move at a time. And here, my horse is sitting on 2-2. It's not anywhere near either king. Um, yeah, it's amazing how hard an advancing king can be to checkmate. At the end of our game, I was quite careful. <laughs> because, yeah, otherwise your king just gets out. Oh, try nine, knight 8-5 instead of gold 7-2. Knight eight five so gold seven two okay. We're gonna back up and try something. So instead of gold drop here, yeah, we're gonna try knight eight five here. Oh this check. <laughs> yeah. Normally checking um gives the king room to escape. But, here, yeah, we're going to take a look at this. Um, oh, well, that's cute. No, no, no. Uh, let's see, and then this check. I probably messed this up. I almost certainly messed this up. I thought I had two golds in hand. Uh, well, is it? I don't see the... Oh, well... Yeah... I mean, it looks like mate. Um, okay, yeah, there's no counterattack here. Uh, yeah. There's one square for this king to escape if it gets checked. <laughs> but one is all you need. Um, wait, so it... Does this actually trap the king? Wait. 
Or did I just hallucinate something? Um... I actually don't see the point at the end of the combination. <laughs> um, do we have to? No, I don't think we play that right now. I think we play this. And this... Well, and then he escapes this way. Damn it. What the heck? Where's my mate? See how easy it was. My stream must be broken. Ah, oh, yes, my stream is dropping 8% of the frames. <sighs> Where is the freaking mate? Hmm. Where'd it go? I don't understand. Here we are. Yeah. There we go, we found a mate. No, we didn't. I hallucinated. I thought I had everything covered. I don't. Well, no, if they push the edge pawn, then a gold drop here is a mate. Hmm. I think this is a mate. Oh, this is tricky. Well, so yeah, there's that. Um, and there's also, if this move, then this mates. And then, yeah, um, I don't really see anything else. Yeah, knight at 8-5 was brilliant. Yeah, don't worry, Abigail. We found it. Everything's okay. We found the mate. You just have to play this very patient move here. And suddenly, like, the king is completely surrounded. Um... And if they try to, like, defend this way, you just take that. And this is also mate. Uh, so, yeah. There's no way out. That's insane. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, likewise. Uh, GG. Hopefully I'm going to remember that one and remember to defend against that third file thing so we don't have a repeat of this. Although, we had a bit of an adventure with this game anyway. Yeah. Probably see you again soon. Because players tend to get paired... We had a lot of people join the Shogi Ladder this week, but players tend to get paired who has similar ratings. Uh, and right now we have similar ratings, so we're getting paired. Um, and I could boast something like, oh, I'm not going to have this rating forever, but um, let's be real, I need to study my Sume and I need to study some openings. Like, if I'm going to foul up the openings, I'm just going to have a really volatile performance. But, yeah, this was nice. Um, I don't think he can do this here. I think taking the rook just doesn't have a continuation. And I think just being slightly more patient uh, would yield a better outcome. So, yes, I get the horse. And I get the knight. But somehow I thought this was good for him.
Oh wait, before I do that, before I take that, I have to take here first. And now there's this, well, he doesn't have this immediate threat, so then I can take here. He takes here, I take there, and um, I don't remember. I guess I'm okay. Well, no, am I dead? Uh, he has this contact check. Um, on a scale of one to dead, how dead am I? Cause this looks spooky. Yeah, I don't know that I like this pergote at all. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully I'll remember and not end up in this particular situation in my next game. Uh, eventually we'll end up in it again. But, um, yeah, I mean, goodness, there's a lot going on. So there's the mate threat. Um... If I put some piece... I guess I can block like this. Um, yeah. So he gets like two golds. He has control of the center. Uh, everything's being placed with initiative. So yeah, that would have been painful. Um, Rook takes 1-8 promote is tricky. Yeah, I agree. Rook takes 1-8 promote would have been tricky. It's still an option, but this here is a mate threat, so I think this takes priority first. Oh, silver 7-8 is a threat. Okay, wow. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, too. I still kind of like this idea. Um, cause, well, no, I'm sorry. I have to account for the fact that I get to play moose, too. So, yeah. Um. Now, keep in mind that it's me playing moose, so they're probably not the best moves. Yeah, no, I, let's look at your idea. Because I don't think mine actually progresses very far. Where is this... Yeah, silver 7-8 threat. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes it's better. Uh, goodness. So if, like, we passed, not that we're going to do that, but this is a threat somehow. Or do, is it the other 7-8? Uh, silver 7-8, gold 7-8, gold 5-8. Right. But there's other pieces that can go here. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. But we could take the same idea, right? If the idea is to, like, control this square, um, maybe this is another way to do it. Um, so, yeah, this is still tricky. Uh, and, like, if they place a gold down to defend that, this is a problem, too. Um... Huh. Okay. So, like, yeah, against this you actually have to defend accurately. Put something in the way. And suddenly the silver is dead. Yeah, well. Silver may be dead, but 
Who needed it? A rook takes. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Jeez. What the heck? How does this work? What's going on? I'm missing something. Um, it's a good question. That's a very good question. Uh, too late. I already solved it, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what I foresee is something like the king dancing its way out this way. So I'm trying to see like how to stop that. And I'm not really seeing a way to stop it. Despite this tremendous initiative of stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure that this works. I think we need four pieces to attack, and right now we only have, well, we've got two on the board and the lance and the golden hand, so that is four. <sighs> Maybe my silver drop was clumsy. I thought I was being clever. And this is if black passes. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, this is if black passes, by the way, so black's not going to pass, but yeah, that's really curious and bizarre. What a variation. Um, but yeah, I think I prefer this over what happened in the game um, in terms of Gota's way of playing this. Just spend some effort defending here. Or, I'm sorry, don't exchange pieces before you've castled. That's the big principle. Even though a lot of pieces did get exchanged here. Also possible that it's possible maybe this rook check could be mistaken. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wild? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Silver 4-8. All right, so we're going to take a look at some of this. So, yeah, we're saying if black passes, then instead of this, silver 4-8. Yeah, during the game I had similar thoughts in a similar position. Um... Mm -mm. I think the reality is just that Shogi, in Shogi, it's super difficult to checkmate. Yeah, this double check. Uh, yeah, let's promote. Oh yeah, and since this gold is dropping, like, it's, it feels like the end of the world for Senta, but, um... Yeah, both rooks become active. Um, and the king right now is walled off by the pawn and bishop. If I do a gold drop to try to trap the king, the pawn just moves up. Um, so it's not checkmate, but um, this is just winning a gold because there's no way that this is any good. It's not possible that bringing the king into the center of the battle... Uh, that only works for Bogyoku. Uh, it wouldn't work for me.
So yeah, curious stuff for sure. But yeah, taking the gold and promoting looks interesting. Um, I'm not sure that my rook drop in the first place was correct. I probably led us all astray with that. And we probably had better somewhere. Like, maybe even here. Or I'm hitting a weak piece. Um, threatening this promotion. Threatening this silver drop, I guess. I don't know. Stuff is threatened. Um, this is probably faster than what we were just looking at. Even though it doesn't start with check, and it doesn't win a gold. Or it doesn't win the gold in the corner. It threatens to win this other gold. And I guess against this, maybe that's a sufficient defense. Maybe that's why this is no good. I guess I stand corrected. Yeah, my first idea was better than this idea. Shogi's hard. Who invented this game? <laughs> uh, there's also silver drop, king moves, rook drop, check, gold block. Mm. Yeah, so I guess we have to start by winning the gold here. Because if we don't start by winning the material, we're never going to get to collect on it. Um, but yeah, this is nice. One player's got a dragon, and is the king surrounded? The other player has the uh, bishop, gold, and knight in hand. But not an obvious plan of attack, so I guess we'll leave this matter to the engines. But I, yeah, my main point was that the game move, which just exchanged rooks while the king was in the center, um, was problematic. And this... Um, Seems less problematic for uh, Gota. I think I prefer this for Gota over what we were looking at earlier, which was the actual game continuation. Where he saved his horse, I took this, and um, he never found a way to activate all his pieces in time. So yeah, I think that's the moral of this story, is um, time is gold, or time is money, or something. Yeah, this gold retreat was very effective. Um, surprisingly so. And I just noticed, like, his horse can't go to any of these squares, so if he wants to use the horse, he's going to have to make a conscious effort to, like, move it several times to get it to attack my king. So, yeah, around here I was banking on um, him just not moving the horse, or the horse would move, but it would take forever to strike my king. Um, so that's why I dawdled with this kind of retreat to try to cover any kind of rook attack on the bottom rows. And his remaining pieces, his lance, gold, and rook, just couldn't construct a mate without the help of the horse. It looks like he has four pieces in the attack, but this horse doesn't count. So I think that's how I made it. Regardless, good game. Very exciting. And yeah, I hopefully will remember to defend against this. So that's the move. And then this and this, and then sometimes uh, king 2-8 depending on the situation. So, yep. Good game.